Nebraska heads to Michigan State. They're going up to East Lansing to face off against Sparty and the bunch. We talked very highly of Mel Tucker and the Spartans last week. Peyton Thorne has been playing uh, his rear end off number eight in the country in quarterback efficiency. He is lighting them up. Lighting them up right now. He's at, what is it, nine touchdowns? Yeah, nine touchdowns, zero interceptions. And Kenneth Walker III, of course, has been an absolute playmaker. At Michigan State has looked awesome. They are the biggest surprise on the season, I believe, uh, currently. However, Nebraska, 8-1 and one against the spread, their last nine against Michigan State. And as I was looking through stats and looking through everything this week, I'm kind of wondering if Michigan State has not just taken advantage of beating really bad teams. And Nebraska, yes, the Illinois game is concerning, but they played really well against Oklahoma last week. And, of course, before that, they got a big win against Buffalo, looked really good in that game. And, you know, against Fordham, looked terrible early, but ended up winning that one like 52-7, to seven, something like that. I, I kind of wonder if Nebraska isn't a little bit better than what we've been giving them credit for, and we just all jumped the shark on it a, a touch too soon when they lost to Illinois early. I, I'm i going to roll with Nebraska plus the five here. Now, I don't feel great about it because betting on Scott Frost and, and Adrian Martinez here lately has not been insanely profitable at all. But I do think that they are, this, these are two evenly matched teams. And I think Adrian Martinez is not as bad as we have made him out to be. I'm, I'm rolling with the Cornhuskers here. All right. So I'm going to do what we did with the... Uh... Boston College team, okay? I agree with you, but but I still think Nebraska is a bad football team. Okay, right? okay. Here's where here's where I think this is where Nebraska can either keep this thing close and or win the game outright. And and God, I'm 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 really thinking about putting them in my underdog special. I never thought I'd say that all year. <laughs> it, it's it's coming down to the fact that. This is a huge letdown spot. For the first time all year, the entire country is looking at Sparty saying, hey, these guys can play. And they've been feeling themselves. And they've been walking around with a big swinging dick on campus all week long after coming back from beating up on Miami. And I, it, I just I worry about this. Is, we, we've seen this in college football. Just massive wins followed by just stupid, unexplainable losses they they could be they could be playing Kent State here and I would be thinking the exact same thing you know they could be playing a really good FCS team a bit, uh, yeah FCS team and I'd be thinking the same thing here so this isn't that I think Nebraska is good maybe they are and I'm just hating too much this is I I just think this is perfect letdown yeah that's that was kind of my thought process here is Michigan State has feasted. Like, we all thought Miami was pretty good, and maybe they're not. Like maybe. Uh, we, we did not. We did not. Hang on. Let's be <laughs> real careful about that. We thought Miami was going to be trash because we didn't understand where the Miami love was coming from. True, true. Now, you, you're not wrong about that. Uh, Michigan State does have Western Kentucky next week. After that, they have road trips to Rutgers and to Indiana before a bye week heading into the Michigan game. So, uh, it's not if, a look ahead if spot. If they get past this, they'll be undefeated going into Mich- uh, going into Indiana at least. Yeah, yeah, I think they should be able to handle Rutgers even on the road. Nebraska, as far as they are concerned, they've got Northwestern next week at home. Again, this isn't a look ahead spot for either team. Like they are focused on each other. I think this could be a pretty even matchup. You're you're Thank riding you. you're riding Nebraska as well. I'm I'm taking the Cornhuskers and I'm strongly considering making them a money, uh, money line special. I can, I can totally get with that. I can totally get with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.